All right, let's talk about roller to sort array. So you are giving two array, and you are going to sort based on the element in the array two. So two goes first, one one goes sec second, fourth goes third, and three goes fourth, nine and six. Right. So if the element inside the array one is not in the array two, then we just we just add in order. So ascending order. So seven and nineteen are not in, in the array two. So we just add seven first, nineteen second. So uh, I'm going to uh, teach you how to use the tree map. So tree map is basically sort the element in ascending order. And there's a way to use the counting sort, but um, if you learn this way, you will, uh, you will get used to the uh, tree map. So tree map, integer, integer, new tree map. So my first element is the number, and the second element, the second element is the frequency. So I'm traversing the number in the array one, and then to to and put into the map. So I put a number into the map, but I also need to put the frequency, right? So if the num get or default, if the num is not is is zero or or no so we return zero first and then we increment by one if the number is not zero so we can get one right so number get one for two and then we can increment by one again so it's pretty straightforward simple enough so we need to return we need to return the sorting list right so this is equal to the new the size of the the length of the array is actually equal to the array one dot length if you notice and then we just we need an index as well to to keep counting the sorting uh, array so now let's start in to traverse the array two so what should we do since the first element is two right and then we can get a frequency of two is three so well well um map dot get num is not equal to zero Right, so we need to add into the sorting array, and then we decrement by one in the map. So map that put num, map that get num, decrement by one. Now, what happens if the size uh, when the element in the in the array one is not in the array two, and we just do it by order, right? So simple enough. We can check the size is greater than zero. If that happens, then we can say. Uh, map the first key, the first element, because it will store in ascending order, right? And then map the uh, in frequency will get map the remove key. So you will remove the element. The so right now is seven, and the frequency is one, right? Nineteen and one, right? So when we remove the key, we return the we return the frequencies. So if you remove seven, you will return one. If you remove nineteen, you will return one. So what happens if it's twelve over here? So when we when you remove the key for seven, is you will return twelve. So the idea is pretty straightforward, and I just have to loop through the number of frequency, and then we just add into the sorting uh, sorting array. So the value is key, right? And then we'll just return. we we'll return the sort. And I hope I don't make a mistake, but let's check. Alright, pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, pass. So the idea is using the tree map to know the method for the first key and remove, and you know the sorting is from ascending, uh, is, is ascending order, is from smallest to greatest. And if you want to try it, the counting array, so which is, uh, you can you can actually uh, use the counting array. So counting array will be including one to one thousand, so one thousand one, right? So if you use counting array, counting array, it will be quicker, but if you don't actually understand the logic uh, by using a tree map. So you can use counting array to sort every element for array one, and then you pop, you decrement uh, every single time when you see the element for array two, right? And then you check again if the array one 
from the 1 to 1001 is not equal to 0 if not then we just have to add into the sorting array but the concepts should be the similar similar so the space and time for the tree maps space is map right so basically I uh, sorting every element every element into the map right so it's all of n and time and time is all of n because you are traversing this and you are checking if there's an element inside the array 1 that is not in array 2 so it's all of n for both case and both case and I think that would be it and let me know if you have a question and I can answer it probably